Hello, I'm Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements 14. I have an unusual situation here. Most of the video I work on, of course, is high def, standard 1920 by 1080, which is kind of the standard for video nowadays. But occasionally, I'm working in an unusual situation. In this particular case, I have an old eight millimeter movie that's been transferred and digitized to a four by three, you notice it's not widescreen, it's old four by three standard resolution video. And then when I'm done with it, I wanna load this up to YouTube or Vimeo. The challenge is that there are no standard outputs built into the program for creating an MP4 that's at four by three. So if I select export and share, and I go to devices, and I go to computer, and I look at some of the options here, you'll notice that if I go down here to standard resolution, 720 by 480, I don't really want it at 720 by 480. I'd like it to be at 640 by 480. But you notice that if I were to select MP4 as my output format, I get little black lines on the right and left. Now, I could save it as a DVAVI. You can see that DVAVI saves it in 4x3 format but I don't want DVAVI. That has some characteristics that I don't want. I want it to be just a standard upload to the internet format. So I need to create a custom output format that meets my particular needs in this particular case. In order to do that, I can go over to the custom tab and you see that I already have a nice library here of different formats that I've created for outputting. To create a new custom output format, click on your advanced settings, and here you can choose both a format and a codec. So a format is the envelope that the video will be in, and in that case, you can see you can have everything from Windows Media and QuickTime, MP4s, all the way up to standard MPEGs and AVIs and a host of others here also. In this case, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to choose QuickTime. And then I'm going to choose a codec for that QuickTime because QuickTime is just sort of the envelope or the container it sits in. The codec is how the video is compressed. And you've got so many selections here, they run right off the screen, <laughs> including uncompressed down at the bottom. And each of these have their own purpose. If I were creating, for instance, an output in QuickTime that I wanted to edit in another program, I could choose one of these DV options. If I was creating an MOV that I was going to edit in high definition, I might choose, for instance, H.264. So in this case, I'm going to choose H.264. So this is gonna create essentially an MP4 file inside a MOV package. And then I'm gonna set the specs so that they're optimized for online viewing. So I'll select H.264. That's going to be my codec, my compressor for my video. Now my challenge is that by default, the width and height are set for 1280 by 720. That's 16 by nine. My video is four by three. So I need to break the constrainment here, which is what this little link is to maintain aspect ratio. I'm gonna click on that to turn that off so that I can independently set my width and my height. My width I'm going to set at 640. My height I'm gonna set at 480. This is a four by three image for the internet. For the frame rate, because this is going to the internet, I don't want interlaced frames and I don't need to set it to a television standard. So I'm setting my frame rate to 30 frames per second, and I'm setting the field order not to upper first or lower first, which would be interlaced, but progressive. That means every frame is a complete frame. You don't get half the information with every other frame and they're interlaced together as traditional television. Because we're viewing this on the web, we want a nice progressive setup. Now your specific needs may be different, but this is a really nice setup here for a video that you're saving for the web. And when I click OK, I can name it here. And I'm gonna call this uh, H264 MOV, and I might as well just call it 640 by 480 to remind myself. This will remain in my library as long as I wanna keep it there. And whenever I have a need again to output a H264 at 640 by 480. And now with that preset selected, I have a perfect four by three video. It's going to be saved in an MP4 or an H.264 compression, which is a really nice high quality compression, but it's gonna be a relatively small file inside a nice MOV envelope. And it's gonna be progressive, so it's gonna look good on a computer or on a website. I'm not gonna have any strange combing issues. I have a nice custom output. So it's very nice that Adobe included this in here. So just in case any of their standard, and they do have a nice selection of standard outputs, doesn't work for you, 
you can always go in and create a custom. Now, if you have questions about which custom settings to use, be sure to come to our community forum at moviepicks.com. We'll be glad to advise you. And if you want to know anything at all uh, about the program, be sure to check out the wonderful tips and tutorials we got at moviepicks.com and pretty much everything there is to know about Premiere Elements you'll find in the moviepicks.com guide for Adobe Premiere Elements and the moviepicks.com guide for Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. They're available at amazon.com. And of course, right here at the Movie Pick store, I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. See you real soon.